good, whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is X is once again set aflame. Who could have guessed? But this time it is about Dr. Disrespect, the live action version, where we have completely solid proof this time. And I am not saying that Dr. Disrespect didn't do what he did, because that is just a next level amount of stupid juice consumption. But that doesn't change the fact that this time we have actual proof of conversation. But before I get into that, I just have two things to quickly mention. First things first, if you're new here, I recommend watching the last video because I'm almost 100% sure that I am right. And my reasoning is because that video got utterly not recommended to anyone compared to my last three videos before that, that all have above a thousand views. So it, it is a suspicion, but at the same time, is it really? Though, the second thing is go and check out this person's video on the whole situation if you want a less biased view on this and a more in-depth expose on the whole situation. Now, to get into this, it would appear without a shadow of a doubt that the man who is still as unfortunate as the statistics show, I still have to be realistic here, is still a man. Let us call a spade a spade. Now, I am not claiming that all men are pedophiles, but what I am saying is that with a 1 to 10 ratio difference between females and males, what portion of his estrogen do you think is to blame for him talking to a child, in stark difference to his biological existence with testosterone? Look. You want to go down below and claim that I'm a phobic of trans people, then do so. But do understand that by you doing that, you're either one, claiming that a woman is being a pedophile, or two, you're claiming what the conservatives have already been calling the left for the longest of time with the whole entire pride movement. So choose your weapon, leftists. Am I, am I transphobic and it is a woman in the pride movement who is attracted to minors? Or am I not transphobic by calling a spade a spade? I'll let you choose. Though, to dive further, I'll read out his post. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we have mutually decided that it is best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Now. Before I continue with all the posts down below, or at least the ones I want to cover, I want to ask, how many PDF files do you think intend on hurting or offending people? And the reason I ask is because it is a moot point to point that out and just means a whole whisper of air, nothing, zilch. And now Chris is proving his estrogen by acting like a female by hoping we care to read his mind. Like, it doesn't f***ing matter what the intent was, because that is most certainly not how it comes across to everybody sensible on planet Earth. What? Am I to believe that everybody would stop ragging on disrespect if he came out and said something to the effect of, Guys, it wasn't my intent to come off as creepy. Get out of here. It is a moot point that means utterly nothing. Pigs are no less dirty and gross when they separate their food from their waste they still roll around in their waste. It means nothing. I guess at least they aren't eating their waste, but seriously. Though, to continue, he says, I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations, love GS, has vocally supported that they are false. And this is where I would like to bring to everyone to the attention to something a little interesting called Stockholm Syndrome, affection and grooming. Like the more he is talked, the more his grave gets dug. Let us continue for just one more post. He goes forth. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I act online. And then he goes on to lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, 
but I can continue to work on myself. Which, my rebuttal to the whole entire nonsense of to lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting, my rebuttal is to tell y'all to go and once again check out that expose video. Cause there is a vast difference between edgy jokes and then actively seeking out an illegal artist who creates despicable pieces of art of minors and asking him to create an art piece which, while the art looked to not be in lewd, I still really question why it had to be him of all people to create that art. Carrying on though, it would appear that we've got a lot of conservative voices speaking out against this. We've got Sneeko, Tim Pool, Blair White, Keemstar, I mean we've just got a lot of them including non-conservative voices, I don't doubt. So, this would appear to be something that, uh, go figures, a lot of people have taken issue with. And something I've noticed is how a lot of conservatives are pointing out the ties in the pride celebration and being trans. And I, I truly can't say that I totally disagree, cause I don't. Uh, here's Tate saying more of the same just in a cool car. So Mr. Beast's tr friend, he's been caught talking to kids, trying to f children. Surprise, surprise. Didn't see that one coming. F***ing hell. You know what's most amazing to me about this whole scenario? That nobody seems to point out this guy's name. Mr. Beast. They think that's a bit of a strange name. I'm sure I could Google it and there'd be some bullshit reason why he's called Mr. Beast. I'm sure they come up with some stupid story. That when he was a kid, he had a figurine called Beast. And then when he grew up, he wanted to be a figurine. Some f***ing garbage. Why would the largest YouTube channel with an affinity towards children in the world be named after the beast from the devil? Why would that happen? Is that a coincidence? Considering the fact that you don't get to become the largest YouTube channel in the world without permission from the Matrix, because they throttle the accounts they don't like, and they take subscribers off, and they prevent the accounts that tell the truth from getting views. If you're getting that many views and that many subscribers, it's because they're pushing you to the front with the algorithm. They want the kids to see you. And by coincidence, this account they want the kids to see is named after the beast. And these are the same people who openly admit they're coming for your children. They chant it in the streets at LGBT parades. We're coming for your kids because the LGBT agenda has no future without your children. They can't have kids. They can't reproduce. They need your kids. They need to come and take yours. And they're open about it. And they put their flags everywhere. They have their month. And they put all their bull propaganda in schools to try and convince kids to do all this insanity and confuse children and at the same time the largest youtube channel aimed at children in the world now coincidentally one of them becomes a tree who tries to f kids and that's being normalized and it's all called the beast and it's an accident call me a conspiracy theorist seems pretty f obvious to me what they're doing although tate is not my favorite i just can't really disagree i mean i guess the one thing i would disagree with is calling it all the matrix when it is just sin and evil because that is what's driving it but i mean at that rate i'm just being pedantic for pedantic sake but i do feel like it lessens the meaning of what it all is by calling it after a movie reference but once again pedantic and then we've also got the quartering covering it i'll show just a smidgen of that comments if it had hurt or offended anyone that wasn't my intent seeing recent events we've mutually decided it's best i permanently step away from all things mr beast he's fired he's fired that's what happened you weren't mutually deciding jack crap. you got fired from all things mr beast and social media focus on my family and mental health mr beast fired you that's what happened and you should be you belong in prison several people are saying i mean i can't believe you left the comments open i mean absolutely people showing me i mean mr b supports you awful behavior i mean he's gone he's out absolutely deserve to be fired um i i guarantee you more messages are gonna come out i talk about two or three different ones in this video so uh yeah leave a like for uh, good riddance to bad rubbish and uh, let's get into the rest of the video. I could honestly just go on and on with how despicable it is. 
like, for example, just the fact that some people are trying to defend Chris, which is just abhorrent. But, uh, can I please say once again, I called this out about how these internet figures are just outing themselves over and over again. And it just seems like we just have to wait until the next expose happens, because it would appear to be what this year is about. Uh, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen, who do you think is the next weirdo? Though, uh, aside from that, I do want to point out that this just proves how liberalism is actively giving a space to house creeps like Chris within their ideology. Not saying all, but it is still actively giving a comfortable house to weirdos like Chris. And look, the simplest solution to combating giving PDF files a safe space is by voting conservative. And how could you not be convinced by such a simplistic answer? And at least by you doing so, you'll be helping in making America great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.